Hey, my name is James Johnson. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're going to talk about investing in property with no money or low money down. So make sure you watch to the end. We've got five different strategies we're going to run through here with you. So make sure you get a pen and paper and take some notes. Now, this channel is all about my investment journey, and I'd like to invite you along on that journey with me. So I'm building a portfolio. I already have one, but I'm growing that portfolio this year. But interestingly as well, I'm building a portfolio for my two daughters. I've got Georgia, who's 21. We've just completed our first deal. In fact, on this video, on this video, not on this video, on this channel, you can see when we purchased the auction, how that all went, the refurbishment, and how we got that rented out afterwards. We're also building a portfolio for my little baby, Amelie. So how can you join us on this journey? Well, I'll ask you right now to take that finger of power, spin it round, and smash that subscribe button over there. Go and do it right now. It won't take you two seconds to do it. So smash that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and you'll see all the new content as and when it comes out. Now, investing in property, I've been investing for 23 years. I bought my first property, a studio flat in Dorking in 1999. And I had the belief that how you built a portfolio was buying a property, then you saved up for your next one. Then I started meeting people that have got 50 houses, 100 houses, 200 houses. And in fact, I know a few people that have got 1,000 properties. So it made me think that there must be a better way. There's no way that they saved up 1,000 deposits or even 100 deposits. You'd be dead 100 times over. So what are they doing differently? So that's what I want to cover here is some different strategies that you can use to recycle your money, to make that money go a little bit further and build a portfolio for yourself. Now, first option uh, is something called lease options. Now, a lease option is where you secure a property and you have a contract with somebody that you'll buy that property in seven years in the future, right? Or you can pick a time. A lease option can be any amount of time, but normally they're around seven years. And so to make that contract legal, you need to pay them a pound. You've probably heard of things like football clubs getting bought for a pound or old businesses that have been bought for a pound. And so that possibly is through a lease option. And so you might think, why would someone sell you their house for a pound? Well, in London or in the southeast, they're probably not going to do that because house prices have been rising so fast that even if they just sold it cheap, they'd still make a ton of money. But in the north of England, and particularly in the northeast of England, house prices in 2008 dropped significantly they dropped 15 odd percent now here's where that got more complicated because at the time 2008 you might remember was the financial crisis you could get a property for a hundred percent mortgage meaning you didn't have to put any deposit in and in fact uh, i was actually speaking to a friend today in dorking they had uh, he i'm buying his old flat where he lived uh, when he was in his in his 20s um, and so he got 110% mortgage back then. So luckily he did that in Surrey, so the prices went up and he was okay. But if you did 110% mortgage in, say for example, Doncaster, and then you now owed the bank, you had a 100 grand house, you owed the bank 110, the bank was banking on the house prices to continue to rise, but they dropped 15%. You now owe them 110,000, but your house is only worth 85. So if you were to sell that house, you would have to find £25,000 just to get out of the deal, right? Just to get out of the deal. And so there are tons of people that are in that same scenario. So even though house prices have risen, they still might not have got back to that 110% value that they had. Now, they might want to sell to move location or divorce or various different reasons and so you can come along and you say, right, I'm going to take this off you today. So I'm going to pay the mortgage for you. I'm going to refurbish it or do whatever it needs to have done to it. And then what we'll do is in seven years from now, we will buy that property. And so we'll complete the transaction. And so what you're banking on is in that seven year period that the house price has gone up in value. So hopefully it's now worth 125 and you've created some equity in that property that you can use towards your deposit, 
right? Now, as it's called a lease option, if that didn't happen and you wanted to, you could just give them back the keys and say, look, didn't work out. I'm not really interested in taking that property forward. So you've got to be fair. Uh, like you, you, you've got to be fair to people and you've got to give it back in the, in the way that you received it. But it's called a lease option for a reason. So you're taking the stress away from someone and then they're able to move forward with life. So lease options are a great way. I've got some videos on the channel about lease options. I bet you're interested now if you've never heard of that before, right? Next is joint ventures, right? And so joint ventures are great because you can invest with little to no money if you have the deal, right? So you wanna get really good at finding good property deals. And there are tons around the country where you can look at it and say, right, we could convert that into an HMO. We can add an extension on there. We could do a light refurb and make a ton of money on that. If you can find the deal, trust me, the money will come, right? The money will, be, will come. You'll be shocked at the amount of people that you don't think they've got money that when you've got a good property deal, definitely would look to invest with you. And so JVs are a really good thing, especially at the moment where interest rates are so low, as in the interest on your savings, you're actually losing money, especially with inflation being high. So if you have 100 grand in the bank right now, we've got 10% inflation. The buying power of that 100 grand in a year from now is only going to be like you've got 90 grand. Still will be actually 100, but you can buy a lot less because everything's gone up in price. You know it, right? The cost of living crisis that you're seeing every single day on the news. And so JV with someone, if you can say, look, lend me the money, I'll do this property deal over here and we can either go halves on the profits or you can give them a fixed rate of interest and actually make them some money, they're going to be quite interested in that, right? They're going to be quite interested in that. So JVs are a great way to build a portfolio. Uh, and so when you find a deal, you will find people that want to do this with you. Now, another option you've got is something called rent to rent. I've got a rent to rent property uh, up in uh, by the Tower of London, by Tower Hill. And so we rent that property uh, for 1500 quid and then we rent it out on Airbnb. Now you might say that's illegal and that's subletting. Well, it's not illegal if the person you're renting from knows and you get the right contract in place for that. Now, a lot of hotels do this, right? Like Premier Inn and stuff like that. They don't own the properties, they rent them and then they put their branding on it and then they rent out on a room by room basis. You're doing the same thing effectively here. So yes, it's illegal if you don't have permission. You get yourself in a lot of trouble then. Uh, but you ask for permission, you tell the agent that you wanna do it as a company let. And we've got other videos on the channel all about that. Just want to get you aware of that being an option. Um, but renting a property and renting it out can be very good. So you can rent it out on Airbnb um, or you can rent it a three bedroom house that has two reception rooms and then rent it out on a room by room basis as an HMO, a house of multiple occupancy and make really, really good income doing that. So rent to rent is another low money down. You have to put a few little payments down for deposits and stuff like that. But again, you could borrow that from a JV partner, right? If you found a property that someone will rent to you, trust me, someone will lend you the money. Next, sourcing, right? So investors like me, we want deals. Of course, we're looking for deals all the time. Uh, and so if you can find a sourcer uh, that can find you a really good deal, that can be a great opportunity. Now, as the sourcer, if you can be really good at finding deals, getting them agreed, uh, then you can sell those deals to investors and they can sell very easily from between £3,000 and £5,000 for the right kind of deal. So that's really, really important that you go out and find good quality deals for yourself. And if you get too many and you don't have enough funding to do those deals, then sell them on sell them on, people will, will buy them. People uh, don't want the time hassle. A lot of very wealthy people that they just want deals, they don't wanna do the hard work to find them, right? So property deal sourcing is another low money down strategy. Next, uh, buy, refurbish, refinance, rent. Now this strategy does need some money down, but you can get the money down from here, right? From a J JV partner. This is where you buy a property that needs some work, right? If you wanna see how this is done, I've actually done a ton of videos on this when we've been up in 
Doncaster. With Georgia, my daughter, this is actually what we've just done together. So we bought a property at auction for 60 grand. It was a mess, right? Stunk, gross gar carpets. Um, the garden was a mess. Nothing was good on that property. So then we refurbished that property, right? So uh, we put new kitchens, new bathrooms. Again, you can see all of this on this channel here. And we spent about 12 grand doing that. And then we refinanced that property, right? So we, we, we brought the value up from 60 grand up to 100 grand, which was what a nice house was for selling for in that area. And then we put a mortgage on it, right? So we put a mortgage on it for 100 grand and we got our 75 grand back because we, we, we paid 60 to buy it. We paid some legal fees and we paid 12 to do it up. So we, we were in for about 75 grand, right? So we've got 75 grand as a loan. That's all of our money back out. And now we've effectively got that house for free, haven't we? Right, because we've got our money back in our pocket. Now we've got a mortgage on it, but we've created that 25 grand in equity in that property. And when you do that, and keep recycling that, you are effectively, yes, there is some money down initially, so that's why I put this one last, but you're recycling that money to do again and again and again and again and again, and that's where your deposits, one deposit can be used multiple times to keep buying properties, and you can, uh, if you get a good building team, you could, you could effectively get one deal and turn it into four maybe in a year. Uh, and to keep rolling that money. Now, sometimes some of the money might get stuck in the deal, like you might get 5% left in, but it's still less than when you had to put a whole 25% buy to let mortgage down and keep all that money in there, right? Does that make sense? Uh, so that, those are five different options for low money down or no money down property investing. Do comment below with any that I've missed. I know you guys have got some, so do comment below any that I've missed. Do quickly like the video there, guys, come on. Smash that like button, it won't hurt you, and it will help me get more people watching this. And um, Now, we're running an event in London, and I wanna invite you to join me on that event. And so tickets will be very limited, and to get a ticket, you need to join the VIP waiting list. How do you do that? In the description of the video is a link. You click on the link, you put in your details, and then you will be in our VIP list. And as soon as tickets are out, you will get notified of that straight away. So do that now, get yourself in the list and we'll see you guys very soon. I'd look forward to meeting you face to face. There's also a link in the, in the description for our Facebook group. So go and join that, that's free as well. I'm James Nicholson, stay blessed and go and check out all the other videos right here.